and welcome back. In our lecture number 7 of kinesiology, we will study about mechanics of position. That will cover the gravity, the center of gravity, line of gravity, the base of sport, equilibrium and the fixation and stability. Then let's get started. First of all, what is the gravity? As you know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But that same apple let the Newton think, what's the force that is attracting everything towards the earth? That is the gravity. And how much a gravity acts on a body? It depends upon two things. The first one is the mass. The more the mass, the more will be the gravity. And the second thing is the distance. The gravity is inversely proportioned to the square of the distance. Means the nearest the body, the more will be the force of gravity. This force of gravity always directed towards the center of the earth. Like all objects, the force of gravity also continuously acts upon a human body. And what will happen if there is no counterbalance to this force? The person will fall. So we need a opposite and equal force to counterbalance that gravity. So these are the anti-gravity muscles that keep the human body erected and for the movement, the force produced by the muscle should be greater than the gravity and the movement will occur in the direction of the force. For example, if you are toe standing, then your heels are up due to the contraction of the calf muscles and you will remain raised as long as the force of contraction of the muscle is counterbalancing the force of gravity and the heels will lower to the ground by the action of gravity when this muscle will relax. Now the center of gravity. The center of gravity is the point of the body where the gravity acts in regard to the position of the body. It is the point through which the line of action of weight acts. A rigid body will balance whenever it is supported on its center of gravity. In an anatomical position of the human body, center of gravity lies in the vicinity of the second sacral vertebrae. But the point of center of gravity changes with the age and with the gender. As you can appreciate in this picture, a newborn has a center of gravity higher than the adult and in females the center of gravity is lower than the children and the males during the standing and walking the center of gravity will remain same that is the vicinity of the second sacral vertebrae but with the change in the position the center of gravity changes for example if you are stretching your body, the center of gravity will shift upward and in leaning down, the center of gravity will move downward and forward. Now the line of gravity. The line of gravity is a vertical line passing through the center of gravity. For a human body in an anatomical position, it is the line passes through the center of gravity starting from the vertex and ending at a point between the feet. In a good posture, the line of gravity passes through the mid cervical and mid lumbar vertebrae and in front of the thoracic vertebrae. The external ear and the point of shoulder are in the same frontal plane and lie lateral to the line and the central axis of the knee joint and the ankle joint are posterior lateral to the line. Then the base of sport. This is the area on which the body is supported. 
For example, a chair is resting on its four feet and the area between these four feet is the base of spore. And in case of a human body, the area between two feet is the base of spore. The larger will be the base of spore, the more stable will be the body. Then the equilibrium. Equilibrium is the state when all the forces acting upon a body are perfectly balanced and that body remains at rest. That stability depends upon two things, the center of gravity and the base. The lower the center of gravity, the more stable will be the body and the extensive base also makes the body stable. There are three types of equilibrium. Stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium and the neutral equilibrium. How can we differentiate them? The stable equilibrium is the state when an external force acted upon a body to displace but the object returned to its original position and the center of gravity remains same. If a force causes a displacement of a body, there will be increase in displacement resulting in changing in the center of gravity. In the neutral equilibrium, under the displacement force, the center of gravity remains same. For example, a pole rolling on the floor. The object is displacing but the center of gravity remains same. Now the fixation and the stability. The fixation is the condition of immobility. There are two types of fixation and active fixation that is produced by the co-contraction of the muscles and a passive fixation that is done by some external source. The purpose of the fixation is prevention of a movement in a joint for example for maintaining posture or for localizing movement to a specific joint these fixations are used to improve the efficacy of the muscle by fixing their origin or to localize movement in the performance of passive movement in case of fractures joint injuries and diseases the fixation is done by mechanical means including splintage, balance traction or operative myers. And the stability is a relative immobility. It provides a suitable background for activity by immobilizing the part that is not required in the movement to increase the efficacy of the movement. For example, during the abduction of the shoulder, the vertebrae remain immobile to allow the movement with more efficacy. If you like my video, then like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.